because at the yeah. end of the day if you buy something and you buy it based on hype and that hype goes away because hype isn't sustainable then you're yeah. just gonna be stuck with something that you just don't genuinely like You said it best. It's it's best to to not really focus on the hype. It's it's best to just focus on what you genuinely love because at the yeah. end of the day if you buy something and you buy it based on hype and that hype goes away because hype isn't sustainable, then you're yeah. just going to be stuck with something that you just don't genuinely like. And that kind of mm -hmm. leads us into our actual topic for this evening or another topic for this evening. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that are essentially posting videos on top five card investments or top five yeah. best sets to invest in and i personally believe that's kind of dangerous to this hobby because you have people who say they're they're not giving investment advice but they're doubling down into the subject matter of whatever cards that are cool to invest in but it's not really talking but they're not essentially talking about um you know pop reports or talking about why this is a great invest like truly a great investment they're just focusing on the hype and at the end of the day they're not really talking about um being able to buy into something that they're comfortable with being like they're comfortable with worth being like sorry uh train my, my brain is going a thousand miles per hour comfortable with um okay. that the value of that product being worth zero yeah. so like that that's something that i i've been seeing a lot of videos uh pop, like a lot of those types of videos have been popping off and i know yizzy was even contemplating making that type of video, but I told him like, "Hey, like this is this is." No, I wanted to make that video because Shiv was going to talk about it, and I'm like, "How funny would it be? Let me make a video before you do that." <laughs> no, I mean, like, what 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 are your thoughts on those types of videos, and how come you haven't made those types of videos? Yeah, so yeah, I mean, like you say, that it's the whole advising people thing. At, at the end of the day, I mean, I've made videos um in the past where I've done what I'm investing in in the crashing Pokemon market, what I'm investing did, in. Yeah. Etc. Um, and I've always said in those videos, I'm investing in them because they're pieces that I want. Sometimes they might be hype pieces. There's nothing wrong with getting in on the hype, but don't base your whole collection and your whole, you know, everything around it. Because like you said, hype isn't sustainable. And then I think people will get that disappointing feeling when they're like, oh my God, everything I own is now maybe not as exciting as it was, or people don't care about it. And that's what they kind of wanted. So uh, the videos I've done are more, these are what I, the items that I'm investing in, these are why I'm investing in them. And I kind of always try and put across, I'm not telling you to go out there and invest in them, but these are my reasons. And if you like my reasons and you wanna get those products for that reason, go for it. But I think it can just be a bit of a gray area, a bit of a slippery slope being like, you know, this is what you have to go out and invest in. Because I feel like there's some people who will just, maybe take it very literally mm -hmm. and rush into the decision where maybe it's not always the best decision, whether it's financially for them or, you know, other reasons. But again, if that's kind of, like you say, there are channels out there that do that all the time mm -hmm. and that's fine, but that's just not an area I've ever thought of going into and any investment videos I do, it's about what I'm investing in and why I'm doing it, not why you should necessarily go out yeah. and do it. Like, like, like I love it when I see content creators do like mail days because it just it, it, yeah. it's their way of saying like hey I'm investing into this this is why I got yeah. this product you know like I base a lot of my quote unquote investment decisions just based on whether something looks really cool or not you know like if I see something it's like oh man that is really cool I want that I am so comfortable with uh, uh keeping something even if it's worth only forty dollars or fifty dollars yeah. there's a lot of things in my personal collection right here that is relatively difficult to acquire but i bought it for like 25 dollars a pop just because of the fact that it's so it's just it just speaks to me as a collector and yeah. um it, it might not speak to someone else but it speaks to me and mm. the reason why i personally wanted to bring up this topic is because there's a lot of people that are still relatively new to the hobby. There's a lot of people that are still in this space that might not have the most information. And you said it yourself when you were first lurking and uh, in the hobby, uh, you were watching, you know, other YouTubers, but you don't see the, 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 the grand scheme of things until you get into the Instagram space and you start talking to other collectors. And um, it was the same for myself. You know, when I first came into this space, I was only watching, you know, Ando, Danny, uh, yeah. Nate and Leonhardt, but we don't, I, I didn't know, uh, 
all about collecting. I didn't know what a pop report was until I actually dove in and I did my research. So a lot of people are making a lot of uh, monetary decisions, physical decisions, based off of what a YouTuber is saying. And it's very dangerous. I know Yizzy and I, we were just talking about it yesterday. He was watching someone who did a top five investment video and Yizzy watched it because he was very curious to see what they were going to say. And often at times I'm like, Yizzy, the only reason why you didn't, uh, uh, you know, you weren't influenced by that video is because you have an understanding of what these prices are. And yeah, imagine, imagine if you were just new, right? Like, let's say you were coming into the space and it's like, you're trying to do as much research as possible, but you're only watching YouTube videos. So then you watch this guy who's showing a top five investment video and then you buy into something and then you're just stuck with it. Yeah. And that's the thing, like you say, it's those new people who are, might take things really literally and only watch one person and they're taking all that one person's advice. And it's just a bit, I think it's, yeah, it's just an area to be careful on. I think, you know, saying this is what you should be going out and putting your money into. If it works for you, fine. But if it's going to bankrupt you or like financially cripple you, don't do it because it's not going to benefit you in any way, shape or form.